Okay, we're going to take a look at appending data from one table to another. This table may have come from an external data source and been imported in, or it could have been one from inside this current database and you just want to append it onto another table, which is adding data from one to another. So I always point out, please back up your data. Um, and if you've never done this before, I suggest you make a copy of your data as well. Uh, make as many as you like, but uh, just make sure you've got a copy. If this goes wrong, then you've got something to fall back on. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to back up data. So we have two tables here. I've got a sales data table and an archive one here. Now in the sales data, you can see I've just got data from uh, December. And here's an archive one. If you looked at my one about uh, make table and also the other one on deleting, you'll see that I deleted the data out of the sales data. And I had previously made a backup using the make table here, which is November. So you can see here, I've got three columns. I've got date, item and cost. Very similar in the sales data. It's, well, there's an ID as well. There's a date, item and amount, the amount and the cost columns are the same, but I just changed the title just to demonstrate something that you're going to do here. Now to append it, you are going to use a query. So if you're using Access 2003, you need to be in your Queries tab, and then you can choose New Query in there. Here in 2010, which is very similar to how it's done in 2007 and 2013, I'm going to go into Query Design where I get my tables. So the table that I'm taking the data from and appending to is the one I need to add here. So I'm taking the data from Archive November 2013 and it's going to go to the sales data. I don't add the sales data here. No data will be lost from this archive here. It will stay in there. It just makes a copy over to the sales data. So here is my query grid, and I want to add all three of these. Now, I could do that by clicking and dragging or double clicking. Here's a little tip. Double click on the title here, and I can just click and drag it because it's selected all of them. So these are the fields in my Archive November 2013 table. At the top here, I'm going to click on Append. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, go to the Query menu and choose Append. And here you can choose the table it's going to, which is the sales data. As I said, it's just copying it over. So that's in the current database. So you could copy it to another database. You just click on another database, choose Browse, and choose the other database, and then choose the table for that. OK, so let's click on OK. And you'll see here's the field that it's coming from, and here's where it's going to. So because the date and the item match, it's automatically matched them up. But here, it hasn't matched it up to the amount. And all I need to do is click on the drop down box and choose amount. So I'll now take the data from there to then. You might find if you've imported things in, there may not be any column headings or there may not be matching ones. People do name things differently. Sometimes there's spaces like first name may have a space in it and in the other table it may not. So you may have a lot of work to do there. OK. So to copy this over, and don't forget, it's going to copy it in. No data is going to be lost, but you should always have a backup if you're doing something like this. So I'm going to click on Run. Here you are. It's going to copy eight rows. It's going to append eight rows. And as it says here, you cannot use the undo command to reverse the changes. If in doubt, click on No. I'm going to click on Yes. I'm going to open up my sales data. And you can see down the bottom here, it has now got all the data from 2013, November 2013, that is. So that is how you can append data from one table into another in Microsoft Access.